Okay. Library. Library. Where did they put the library? Huh. <sighs> this castle looked a lot smaller from the outside. Morning, Starlight! Whoops! Sorry, Spike. I guess I'm still trying to find my way around. You don't happen to know where the library is, do you? Next door on the left. Oh, thanks. Acceptance, mm-hmm. Altruism, definitely. Starlight, good morning, come in. Sorry I'm late. I got a little turned around. I still can't believe you're letting me stay here as your pupil after everything I did. Well, I'm not one to dwell on the past, and neither should you. The castle is your home now, and as far as being my pupil goes, I was just trying to figure out what your first friendship lesson should be. Oh, well, it looks like you're really narrowing it down. Oh, these are just the A's. After this, I move on to the B's. Tons of fun! A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I know I'm just learning about friendship, but I didn't think there were this many lessons for anything. How do we choose? Maybe I should pare things down a bit before we go through them. Why don't you join the others in the throne room? They're planning our trip to the Crystal Empire when Shining Armor and Princess Cadence have their baby. Throne room, got it. Um, which way is the throne room? <sighs> well, I think we should leave ASAP. I don't want to miss the Crystal Egg. But, um, shouldn't we wait for the invitation? Frankly, I'm not exactly clear on all the customs and traditions of the Crystal Empire, especially when it comes to a crystalling. What's a crystalling? Well, that's just it, darling. Princess Cadence and Shining Armor's baby is due any day, and we're still not sure. The Crystal Empire was gone for a thousand years. A lot of their customs are a bit murky. We know it's got something to do with the new baby. And the party! And the Crystal Heart. And the party! Kind of cool energy. And I'm ready! it's not hard to understand. Most things in the Crystal Empire aren't. Like how I'm a big hero there, for example. Uh, plus, I've had to help Twilight do a lot of research on crystallings. Whenever a baby is born in the Crystal Empire, the parents bring it before the Crystal Heart. They get the purest shard of crystal they can find, then pick a crystaller to present the baby to every pony who comes. Then they all share the light and joy they feel, feeding it into the crystal that joins with the heart and increases its power. And this is gonna be a royal crystalling, so pretty much the whole empire will show up. That hasn't happened in a millennia. What do you mean it increases the Crystal Heart's power? The energy it uses to protect the Crystal Empire, I guess. Protect it from what? I didn't help Twilight with that part. Hey, Twilight, can I ask you something about the Crystal Empire? Huh, funny you should mention it, because I just narrowed your first friendship lesson down to three options, and one of them is in the Crystal Empire. Really? I found out that's where the first pony you ever cared about lives. Sunburst? Of course, that's just one idea. We could also go to Griffinstone. Making friends with a griffin is a challenge all by itself. Or we could tag along with the skin seeds the next time they try to help a pony who can't figure out why they're special. Starlight? Is something wrong? What? Oh, no. Those all sound great. I know. I guess you were right. It is going to be hard to choose one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ugh, I am never.
never gonna find my way around this place. Gee, Starlight, what's wrong? I don't know, Spike. Twilight's figuring out what my first friendship lesson is, and I guess I'm not exactly thrilled with the options. Well, with one of them. Which one? Reuniting me with my first friend. What's so terrible about that? <sighs> when we were foals, Sunburst knew everything there was to know about magic. He always knew just what to do. And he was always there to help me. I guess it's not surprising that Sunburst got his cutie mark in magic and went off to Princess Celestia's school. But when he left... You blamed cutie marks and stripped a whole village of theirs, and when Twilight and the others stopped you, you went back in time and almost destroyed Equestria. Not really stuff I'm super eager to tell Sunburst about. I mean, he's probably some big, important wizard now, and I can't even find my way around Twilight's castle. Well, if Sunburst is that good at magic, maybe he'd appreciate your, uh, <clears throat> exploits. You should talk to Twilight about it. I'm sure she'd want to hear what you have to say. I know, but I don't want her to think I'm not ready to learn, or that I'm not grateful for everything she's doing. Spike! Come quick! It's a crystalline invitation! Shining Armor's a father! I'm an aunt! Well, this settles it. Since we're going to the Crystal Empire, your first friendship lesson is going to be... Reuniting with Sunburst! Great! Something for the youngin. Maple Jenny wine, sweet apple acres, apple trees. We make them for all the apples, and any pony related to Twilight is practically family. Yeah, it's okay, but it's no Cloudsdale Mobile. Bam! Ooh, pretty. Well, a mobile is real nice. As long as you have something to lay in so you can look at it. And a fetching blanket to keep you warm. I'm sure Shining Armor and Princess Cadence will love all our gifts. But I think they're more happy we'll be attending the baby's crystalline. I can't wait to see all that light and love make the crystal heart even more sparkly and shiny! Actually, Pinky, the crystal heart is an ancient and powerful relic. Without its magic, the Crystal Empire would be lost to the frozen north. Wow, this crystalling sounds pretty important. I'd understand if you wanted to, you know, wait to do a different friendship lesson when we get back. Are you kidding? This trip is perfect! Not only do I get to see the baby and take part in the ceremony that helps maintain the magic of the Crystal Empire, but I'm starting my new pupil off with the most amazing friendship lesson ever! I can't wait! Right. Me neither. Actually, Twilight, I am a little worried about meeting Sunburst. Oh, trust me. I know what it's like to see old friends, but I'll be right there to help things along. I've broken the whole lesson down into a few easy steps to ensure this reunion goes off without a hitch. <laughs> Step one, head to Sunburst's house and get you two started on the right hoof. Step two, get to the castle with enough time to visit the baby. <gasps> Shining armor! Twilight! I didn't know you were meeting us. Of course I am. It's me, right here. Here I am. Why wouldn't I come meet my sister? Though we haven't met before. <laughs> Are you all right? 
Never better. Being a father is amazing and wonderful and amazing and confusing and amazing, but surprising too, you know? I mean, not that you'd know. You wouldn't know, I know. You know? Sorry. I haven't really slept since Cadence had the baby. Come to think of it, she hasn't either. It sure would be great to get a break. Oh, of course. I don't know what I was thinking. You two probably need all kinds of help. I'm sorry, Starlight, but I guess combining your first lesson with this visit wasn't such a good idea. Oh, uh, don't be ridiculous! You're an ant now. That's way more important than some friendship lesson. I just wish there was a way to do both. Maybe there is! You've already done the work for Starlight's lesson with this list. All we have to do is follow it. Spike, you're a genius! Yeah! Genius. Then it's settled. Shining Armor and I will head straight to the castle, and you two can head straight to Sunbursts. Aye aye, Princess! <laughs> All right, Big Brother. Let's go see this amazing baby pony. Uh, a baby. I know you're a little worried about this reunion, but I'm sure Twilight's got everything covered. Everything, except how I'd rather do absolutely anything else. Well, I bet she's taken that into account, too. It's all part of the lesson. Trust the lesson. Right. Hey, is that you? Oh, yep, it sure is. Now, according to the list, Sunburst's house is... Why is there a statue of you in the Crystal Empire? Because Spike the Brave and Glorious saved all of us from King Sombra. And then again during the Equestria Games. Really? Really. Big fan. Um, when were you going to tell me about this? Nah, uh, it's no big deal. It most certainly is! That's it! We're not going anywhere until I get the whole story. Before we go in, I should probably tell you, seeing the baby might be a bit of a shock. Come on, big brother. I've met babies before. I expect meeting this one won't be any different. <gasps> Of course, I could be wrong. Uh, the baby is an alicorn? It looks that way. But, but, but I thought alicorn wings had to be earned by accomplishing some great princess-worthy deed. Yeah, how can you just be born with them? The birth of an alicorn is something Equestria has never seen. It is beyond even our understanding. That's not very reassuring. Wow! A unicorn and a pegasus! So she could be a super strong flyer and have crazy baby magic! <laughs> well, I know all about super strong flying. And I can help keep tabs on her magic. It appears her magic is more powerful than that of a newborn unicorn. The crowds have already started to gather. <gasps> this crystalline is gonna be some party! Do you think we should call it off? Um, we've all faced a lot worse than baby magic. I can't imagine canceling such a beautiful and important ceremony over something so potentially adorable. Yeah, <laughs> of course! <laughs> Come on! In light of the little one's abilities, this crystalling might be more important than ever. Perhaps you should address your subjects and remind them of that. Hmm. Shining armor, do you have everything you need for the ceremony? Huh? Oh no! I still have to interview the honor guards, choose the purity crystal, and pick a crystaller! All right, take it easy. Pinky can stay here with me and keep an eye on the baby. <laughs> and we'll all help you with everything else. Oh, a baby in here. That is, if you can stay awake long enough to tell us how. And 
that's how we found the Crystal Heart, defeated King Sombra, and saved the Empire. Yay! 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 Tell the one about the Equestria Games. Well, as much as I love reliving my heroic deeds, Starlight and I have an important lesson to do by order of the Princess of Friendship. Aww. Aw, come on, Spike. I want to hear about the games, too. I know you're nervous about seeing Sunburst, but it says right in step three to, uh, deal with your fears by facing them, not by putting it off. Uh, let's go get this over with. Knocking on the door isn't the next thing on the list. Seriously? I know Twilight can be a little nitpicky, but this is your first lesson as her pupil, and it's important that we do it right. Fine. What's the next thing on the list? <clears throat> Before they see each other, make sure to highlight the importance of the meeting. I'm pretty sure we can skip that. I don't know. I mean, if we skip it, the whole lesson could go south. And then you might end up taking a giant step backwards instead of forwards. Maybe you'll never be able to learn anything about friendship at all. It's almost like your whole future depends on this moment. Highlight the importance of the meeting. Check. I can't believe you wanted to skip that. Sunburst? Yes? What can I do for you? It's... it's me, Starlight. We used to be friends? Uh, of course! S Starlight! <laughs> My goodness, uh, it's been a long time. What, uh, what have you been up to? Me? Oh, <laughs> you know, some of this, some of that, different stuff. Right now, I'm sort of Twilight Sparkle's new pupil. The Princess of Friendship? <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of why I'm here. I mean, I know you're probably very busy. What do you mean? Well, I figured after magic school you'd go on to do important wizard work, but... Oh, no. Y yes uh, uh, yes that's me, yep. <laughs> important wizard. Really busy with lots of, uh, wi wizarding stuff. Right, uh, well... Good to see you. Huh. Maybe we should have skipped highlighting the importance of the meeting after all. Well, I guess that's that. Starlight, come on. We have to at least explain what Twilight wants. Ugh. Dearest citizens, I am sure you are all just as thrilled and ready for this crystalling as myself and Shining Armor. I'm not ready. Take it easy. Just pick whoever looks the most like Honor Guard material. Right. Right. I'm sorry. Fatherhood is way more stressful than I ever thought. I can only imagine. Now, I know choosing the Crystal of Purity is a very important decision. So, I have gone through the trouble of arranging them in order from incredibly pure to outrageously pure. Um, Rarity, don't they all sort of look the same? Oh, well, to the untrained eye, perhaps. What do you think, Shining Armor? Are you... I don't know! I hope Twilight and Pinky are having better luck with the baby. Well, at least she's having fun! <laughs> Pinky, hold her still! I'm trying! So... The Princess of Friendship wants you and I to be friends again? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Weird, right? Oh, I don't understand. Did something happen to you after I left for magic school? What? No! I don't see what that has to do with anything. <laughs> Why would you even ask that? 
I mean, did something happen to you after you left for magic school? What? Um, uh, no. Like you said, I'm a, um, important wizard. I'm sure there's something on Twilight's list that can help here. Okay, I chose the honor guard, picked the purity crystal, and I know exactly who I want to be our crystaller. So, all we need is... The baby? We're here! She's a really strong flyer! gonna make it hard to do the crystalline. It's worse than that. Without the heart, the crystal empire is about to be buried under a mountain of ice and snow.